Okay, so there's a really easy way to change your shapes and you don't even have to worry about drop out men pull out menus or anything like that. So let me show you we're here in basic shapes. Let's just put a basic block out on the screen. And let's say, for example, I want to add um, a sphere to the top of this. I'm going to use this little um, lever here to pull it up and pull it right over the top here. And I want to make sure that I combine them. So I'm going to kind of peek underneath. Whoa, hello. That is not over the top at all. Get that right over the top. Um, to center it, I can actually press shift and then I can align it to the different sides. But now I need to actually pull it down because there's some space under there. It's a little bit hard to see, but I can tell. Whoop, it combined both of them. Let me unclick one. Let me just push that ball right down into there. Now, let's say, for example, I actually want to subtract that circle shape out because I want sort of like a bowl, like to have like a bowl that I can like drink out of or something out of this square or whatever I need for that shape. So if I hold down the shift key, which means plus on computers normally, I hold the blue sphere, hold the shift key down and then click on the red box. If I go up here, I can click on um, this icon to group them together. So when they're grouped together, there you go. Um, they're like one piece. So as I move it together, they're not going to come undone. Okay, so let's say though, for example, I want to cut this out. So I'm actually going to, well, okay, when I have the blue sphere, I can uh, pull out this extra panel here and change it and make it into a hole. But it's not actually a hole until I tell it what to take the sphere out of. So I have to actually select this whole sphere, press the shift button, click on the red box, and then group them together. And then give it a second, and now it actually makes a hole where that circle was. Okay, so now there's kind of like unlimited possibilities with what you can do. So let's try that again. This time I'm going to pull out a couple spheres. This sphere I'm going to shrink. I'm going to hold down the shift key. That way it constrains my proportions and it's still a, a kind of perfect sphere. It's not an oval sphere. I'm going to pull this up a little bit, push that right into there. Now I want to sort of have like eye sockets. Okay, but I want two that are exactly the same. So I'm going to hold down um, this and I'm going to press uh, Command C on a Mac computer or on a PC laptop. You're going to press um, control C that is for copy and control V for paste. Now I actually have two spheres that are exactly the same size, really easy to do. I can actually press uh, control V for paste lots of times and um, use those for something else if I want to um, work with those later. Okay, but for these, I actually want to make those both into holes. Okay, but they're not holes yet. You can see they're still like sticking out there. So I have to click on one of the holes. Oh, let me grab the hole there. Okay, and then click on the shift key and hold down the big blue sphere. Now, when I group them together, it's actually gonna subtract that eyeball or the eye socket. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this guy here, this hole, It's but it's not actually a hole yet. Hold down the shift key, that means plus, and hold down the blue sphere, and then group it together. And now I have two eye socket holes, but I kind of want to mess around with this and see if I can now put in an eyeball in there. But you can't really see it, so I'm going to change the color and I'm going to have him have, oh, that's not very bright. Let's have him have yellow eyes. Okay. Um, now, you know, now there's actually. Let me back up a little bit. That's a little bit too close. Now there's actually a hole with another sphere in it. So maybe it's uh, looking more of what I was thinking about having it look like. All right. So today work on adding, subtracting shapes by holding down the shift key and grouping the shapes together and see what you can come up with.